excited. An Arbor smoothie for the morning. Well, another day. I um I got a message last night saying I got an appointment. Well that's some. Got an appointment on the twentieth, so that's like five days away. I'm gonna ring this morning to see if I can get in earlier. Um so yeah. If not, I've got to wait five days before I go in to see the specialist. Um, I don't know what kind of appointment it is. I don't know if they're going to do the biopsy or just go, Hi, how are you? What you doing? Kind of stuff, interview. I don't know, look at me, whatever. So, today, it's a few phone calls ringing around. Not much really happening. It's not going to be that exciting. I'm going to enjoy this banana smoothie. Feels so good in my throat. I have a bit of trouble eating stuff because of, of the lump the back of my throat. I will back in my tongue, they say. So yeah, it's it's annoying. I woke up last night about 4:30 with a thump and headache. Took a neurofin for that, and just yeah, let's just let's get this day on the road. Let's make a phone call. Let's get that over and done. We've lost the time. Yeah, there should be someone there. So. Let's ring and find out. It's last night saying I've got an appointment on the 20th of this month for my um, um, ear, nose and throat. Sort of, I've got like, I think, cancer around my throat. And as you saw from what she's saying I've got to be reviewed before they will operate or anything so next Tuesday I go in for a review review yeah words again blah, blah, blah. and we see what happens um, five days of waiting supposing I have to get used to waiting I hate waiting I'd like to get in get the job done get out but now I've got to wait it's going to get hard. It's going to get really annoying. Uh, it's just part of the parcel. I've got to wait. Well, just shows how quick things can change. I was just sitting down the beach. Watching the guys surf, I don't think I can go in the water right now. And um, brought that up again, that's what started it all. Um, it was only a couple of little spits, so I'm not stressing right now, I'm just chilling, relaxing, back home. Um, saliva, sorry to gross you out. It's clear, it's white. But before it was full of blood. So. I'm just gonna sit, relax, take it easy. Well, it's been over an hour and I haven't had any more blood, so it's a good sign. Gotta be positive, right? As hard as it is in this time, gotta be positive. So, I think I might give myself a bit of a haircut, looking a bit wild and woolly. So, I'm gonna have a haircut and just chillax for the afternoon, see what happens. So, yeah. Bit of a boring day, sorry. Not much really happened. It's not really a a vlog, is it? It's more of a a diary keeping of my day. But on video, so it is a vlog, but it's not like the normal vlogs where people are doing great and exciting and fantastic things. I'm chilling around here at home right now. So, oh, and the phone's going off. <laughs> All right, get back to your scene. Wow, that looks flash, doesn't it? New hairdo. <laughs> Pretty sexy now. Uh, I've just rang my doctor to get him to give me a call back. I'm a little bit unsure because I'm getting a little bit of salivary blood. 
or blood in my saliva. Um, and wait for him to call me back. He will ring pretty quick, I'm sure. And we'll um, yeah, see if he tells me to go straight to hospital or not. I suppose this is what I've got to get used to. It's going to be um, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be hard. I've got to be positive though. I've got to focus. And according to my sister, I've got to start eating right. Get all this healthy, hippie shit going on. So you'll probably see a new me with dreadlocks next. <laughs> all right. I'll be back on this boring day of my vlog. <laughs> well, just got off the phone with the doc. Doesn't seem too stressed, which is, that's a good thing. Um, he's told me to go down and see him at 12.30. Just to, um, just to check my vitals, and make sure I'm all right. Nothing, you know, to stress about. So yeah, we'll, um, get back to you on my boring day. All right, I'm off to the docks. I'll let you know what happens. Well, that was a good sit with the doctor. Um, the blood is going to be normal. It's going to be part of the process. I've got to get used to that. Not freak out like I kind of was a little bit. Which you guys probably didn't see. But um, yeah, this is going to be going to happen now and then. So yeah, so that's good. My vitals are all good. Everything's normal. So just play the waiting game now till Tuesday. Till I can um, go in and see the, the ENT clinic, which is ear, nose and throat people. So yeah, we'll uh, stretch about that then. But I'm heading back home right now. So, yeah, so a bit of drive. Well, things have changed. Doctor just rang me after saying I was all good. He's spoken to specialists at two different hospitals. They're putting me into emergency. So I'm off to Fiona Stanley in Western Australia. Maybe be the best of the best hospitals. Gotta look after the best, all right? So yeah, so now I'm heading there for the day. So my quiet day of chilling and relaxing has been a bit of back and forth, back and forth from the doctors. Stressed, not stressed, stressed, not stressed. Now they're getting admitted. They're worried about this sticking out. You can see there, it's getting bigger. They're stressing. Don't blame them, so am I. So yeah, just waiting for my sister to pick me up, just taking me to hospital. So we'll get there. Woo! Well, here we are. It's late. Just spent the last five to six hours in emergency at uh, Fiona Stanley. My doctor wanted to rush me in. He got me in there. They um, jabbed me in both arms, took blood, got me ready to go under. Then the ear, nose and throat specialist come along and said, nah, you can wait till Tuesday. So I'm back home. Uh, it's like nearly midnight. I'm tired. A long day sitting there. As I said, five, six hours, thanks to my sister for taking me. So yeah, so, another unsuccessful day. A little bit of blood scared the doc and yeah, they sent me straight in, so. Yeah, see you tomorrow, see ya.